And this is where the barking dogs were. And here they are out to meet me again. Oh my gosh, crazy. Okay, so I was here yesterday. The road that went to nowhere with the barking dogs and turned around and never did find the property. So I called the gentleman today to see how I could access from the other side. And here we are going down another two miles. We're supposed to open up into these slots that are 29.9 over an acre, um, no restrictions. But I can't for the life of me imagine going three miles down a road like this if I want to um, go shopping or go to the library or I need to go to the post office. I just watched a YouTube video the other day where she said, you know, the drive into a place and the driveway is just really important. and. I had a place up above where I could have turned around and I chose to keep going, so I don't know what I get myself into here, but uh, yeah, here I am, back to something that I showed you the other day. If you're watching this um, journey, I have them numbered in the title. This is where it went. It dipped way far down and I uh, never did find it. I stopped and asked a lady up at the top and she's like, yeah, that road goes on forever. Well, here we are on the other side and it's still going on forever. This is so eerie. There's a school bus back there. Oh, what am I well, doing? At least there's some cool barns to look at that I didn't see yesterday. Okay. Someone just came down on a four-wheeler and there's somebody mowing so there's a little life around here I just had to see for myself okay more eerie and it doesn't help that uh, it feels like the rain's coming in <laughs> what was that at one point looks like somebody's home or a little motel or something I love the color and then there's a trailer over there down the road Beautiful. There he goes. Well, deer make me happy. Hello, mister. You just looking, aren't you? Yeah, I'm looking too. I love when they run. They take off. He's posing for a picture. Okay, so this well could be the lots because over on the other side is the realtor. Alrighty. I sure wouldn't want to have to drive down that road in order to get here though. Here's the other side. The video shows them as cleared lots, so I'm not seeing that. But maybe this is considered cleared. All right. I'm curious to see what's ahead and where this all comes out. <laughs> It's good to be curious. Okay, so that's really cute up there. That is adorable. But then right next to it is like a graveyard or something. Okay, this is more of the land. Because there's the sign. Well, it might have been worth it to come down here just for that. What a gorgeous old barn. Wow. Decided to get out. <laughs> I have definitely had some heart palpitating moments in this journey. I can't say that I'm afraid. I'm just, you know, it's just one of those, okay, where am I going? What am I doing? And it's eerily quiet but nothing like getting up close and personal. Wow. This was, you know, again, like the shacks that people lived in, this was once workable property. 
And this could be absolutely lovely at some point. I mean, they're selling these lots for $29.9. And look at this view. But where does this lead? Oh my gosh. On down the road I go. Okay, here's the other side. Beautiful views. And he asked me if I had seen the new construction. <laughs> I was like, no. And here we are. Okay. So we'll just have to find out where this road takes us. I mean, that's not new, but right up here is new. So, wow. Is this like a gold mine here? $29.9 for these lots? And he has like, I don't know, many. And they all have electric and water at the road. Just need your septic. And uh, I mean, this will be one of those someday, there'll be people here that'll be here for 50 years and they'll be like, you won't believe what this looked at when, like, when we moved in 50 years ago. You know, they'll be talking to people when I'm dead <laughs> about how this was all barren and there was nobody here and then how it's going to just grow up. I don't know where I'm going to turn around. And I don't know if I want to turn around because I don't want to go back up that road past okay, that. Okay, so a little bit more of the Erie. And I think the rain's coming in. And now this road I came out again. Nice little mailbox. And where does it go? Where does it go? I just feel like I need to keep going straight. Wow. This is up the road here. You want remote? We've got remote. <laughs> sure. Does someone live there? I'm thinking not. Yikes. Can you imagine to come visit me? You just have to drive five miles down the road. The road's not the greatest, but once you get to where I live, it'll be all worth it because of the view. <laughs> hey, and every time I see another home, I think, okay, I'm almost there. I'm almost back to uh, a main road. And then I see animals. Okay. Still have no idea where I'm going. Maybe this circles back around. right there. Hey guys, just hanging out. You're looking good. I wouldn't want to mess with you though, that's for sure. We'll just talk to each other from a distance, okay? Oh, Lordy help me. Okay, this is the same stretch that I've been on this is where the animals were, or are in the background. Oh my gosh, I, I'm just like, whoa, where does this road lead? On the other side? Okay, which way should I go? Look at that. I, don't, I literally do not know where I'm at and which way to go. And on this side? And there's a cemetery. Is that the cemetery I saw before coming down? I don't know. Interesting. This road is so freaking narrow. 
I wouldn't even be able to back up if somebody was coming. Someone just pulled off into the side and I'm just not comfortable doing that. This is scary to me. I have no idea if I can cross over here or if I need to back up now. And I don't even know if I can back up. Okay. I don't have the smarts about me to know about this. This doesn't look like something that you can just go through without sinking. Okay. I need to figure out how to back up here if it takes me 50 turns. Okay. All right. This church. And oh my gosh, there was someone coming up behind me. I decided that I couldn't turn around. So I was backing up and just had to put my trust hat on. Humanity, wonderful. Look at that, wow. And uh, he said, no big deal. He drives through that creek all the time. And uh, so his friend took the vehicle, my vehicle, and drove across because I did not feel comfortable. I'm there. And he told me which way to go to get back to where I need to go. And he said that he would take me out of here if I needed to. <laughs> All right, guys. This has been quite the journey today. And I hope you enjoyed this one show of going back to look at property that I couldn't find the other day. O M G. And we're headed out. We should be back on 70 here at some point. <laughs> yeah. Dirty windshield. Blessings in your day. Joy in the journey. Okay, one more thing. I have made it to the main road and I had headed to a rest area for the night and I am over it. And I am thanking God for those people that I could walk up to their vehicle and trust them and, and uh, all is well. Okay, lesson learned here. I am not going to uh, just go blindly into a search uh, down many roads before asking a few more questions. Alrighty, later.